Installation and Service of Otosan Drip Systems for Restroom Fixtures. The key to really effective odor control in restrooms is to apply the deodorizer cleaner and scale remover directly to the toilet bowl and urinal. This is where the odor starts and this is where the drip system goes to work. The box containing the dispenser includes the back plate with reservoir, spike, cover, installation sheet, and a bag of parts. The bag contains half-round tubing to connect the dispenser to the toilet bowl or urinal, clamps for the tubing, double-sided tape for the tubing and corner clamp, a key to open the dispenser, screws and anchors for attaching the clamps and dispenser, a 6-inch stainless steel rod, and a cleaning pad. Also, a wick, the heart of the system, is included in the bag of parts. Typical installation of the system. Although the dispenser can be installed with double-sided tape, it's recommended that anchors and screws are used to provide a permanent, long-lasting installation. This installation display has used both tape and screws. The two screws and tape hold the back plate to the wall and the tubing is attached with clamps and tape. Finally, the tubing is directed into the fixture by using a stainless steel insert and bending it to shape. Although this example is mounted over a urinal, the same procedure is used to mount the system over a toilet bowl, where the tubing goes under the seat and is bent into shape to dispense the fluid directly into the bowl. In the event that you need to refresh your memory on the installation method, refer to this page of the instruction sheet. How does the system work? Before we go into details of the dispenser installation, it is important to know how it works. The cover locks into position with two catches at the top of the back plate. The key is inserted in the top of the dispenser, which pushes down the catches and allows the cover to be easily removed. The back plate contains a reservoir to hold the fluid, and a spike which pierces the cartridge seal when it's installed at each service. Dispensing of the fluid relies on a unique and simple wicking system. The wick is placed in the reservoir with the middle leg in the small separated section. Then, the wick is pushed onto the back plate and held in place by the posts on both sides of the louvers. After the cartridge is in position and the seal punctured, the fluid goes into the reservoir up to the neck of the cartridge where a vacuum is formed. As the fluid is used, the level in the reservoir drops and air enters the cartridge, allowing the same volume of fluid to be dispensed. Then the fluid travels up the two outside legs of the wick and down the center leg into the tubing and the toilet fixture. This continuous process evenly dispenses one cartridge in a month. Installing the dispenser. Now that we know how the system works, we need to know how to properly install the dispenser and tubing. One end of the tubing is slotted, which is the end that fits into the back plate of the dispenser. Push in the tubing very firmly until the two slots lock into place with the two ridges of the back plate. This ensures that it is tightly fitted over the nipple to prevent leakage, and it makes it difficult for anybody to pull out the tubing. After making certain that there is sufficient length of tubing to reach the fixture, place the back plate in the correct position on the wall and mark where the anchors are to be inserted. On tiled surfaces, make certain that the anchors are only inserted in the horizontal grout. Drill into the wall and install the anchors, making sure they are flush with the wall. After having removed the protective film from the adhesive tape on the back plate, lightly place the back plate on the wall with the slots over the anchors. Then insert and tighten the screws. Note that the dispenser is installed on the opposite side to the flush handle. Attaching the tubing to the wall with clamps is the recommended installation method. However, if clamps and anchors may not be used, the tape method is the answer. Stretch the tubing so that it's in the proper vertical position. Mark alongside the tube at the bottom where it is to be attached as a guide for positioning the double-sided tape. Take out the mounting surface preparation pad and thoroughly clean the wall surface. Dry with a paper towel. 
Apply the tubing tape to the wall, starting about two inches below the back plate to about one and a half inches from the top of the urinal, or a point where the tubing comes away from the wall to the toilet bowl. The protective film is then peeled off the tape and the tubing pressed firmly to the tape applying pressure for about one to two minutes to ensure a permanent bond. It's recommended that the tubing is firmly held in place with two clamps or one clamp plus the corner clamp, both anchored to the wall. When the corner clamp is used to hold the tubing in place, it's attached either with an anchor or with two-sided tape. After the tubing is in place, the two wings of the corner clamp are pushed inward to tightly hold the tubing in position. The system is now installed from the dispenser to the restroom fixture. Cut the tube so that it will dispense the fluid directly into the fixture. Then the stainless steel rod is inserted into the end of the tubing. This allows the tube to be bent into shape. Be certain to insert the rod so that it's at least a half an inch inset from the end of the tubing. This prevents the stainless steel rod from sticking out of the end of the tubing when it is bent. To complete the installation, the wick is inserted and the cartridge of fluid is pushed all the way down onto the spike. Finally, the cover is attached. The dispenser and fixture is wiped down and any dust is cleaned up from the drilling. Tools recommended for quick installation of the system. A 3 8 inch drill with a 7 and 3 quarter inch masonry bit and Phillips number 2 bit. A box knife used to cut the tubing and the tape. A tape measure is used to mark the position on the wall for multiple installations in the same restroom so that each dispenser is at the same height. A small claw hammer is useful to hit the anchors into the wall and for taking off any old dispensers that are in the way of the new installation. A Phillips and ordinary screwdriver and a pair of pliers are useful to have in case other restroom dispensers have to be moved. For example, a toilet seat cover holder may be mounted over the flush valve and in the way of installing the dispenser. These holders can be easily repositioned on a sidewall or above where a dispenser is to be installed. Finally, an ear syringe to empty the dispenser reservoir when needed. Servicing the dispenser Dispensers are serviced once a month when a new cartridge of fluid is inserted. The dispenser is opened and the old cartridge is removed. Any fluid left in the old cartridge is poured into the fixture. This boosts the deodorizing of the fixture at the time of the service. Then the old cartridge is thrown away. If the reservoir is full of fluid, the excess fluid needs to be removed before inserting the new cartridge. This can be done by using an ear syringe. Alternatively, toilet paper or a paper towel can be used. Check the wick. In most installations, the wick will last a year or more. However, if most of the fluid has remained in the cartridge and reservoir, it means that the wick is not transferring the fluid and needs to be washed out in water or changed. This wick is okay. However, if it has to be changed, throw the old wick away and insert a new one. Note how any new cartridge is inserted. The screw cap is removed and the special seal of the cartridge is placed on top of the spike of the reservoir. The cartridge is then pushed downwards until it rests on the bottom ribs of the reservoir and it is then pushed backwards so that the knobs on the cartridge fit completely into the two holes in the back plate. The cover is now reattached by putting the bottom part over the retaining catches and pushing it firmly against the back plate until the top catches snap into position. The final part of the service is to make sure that the dispenser cover and tubing are clean. Maintenance The dispenser is designed to encourage air to pass across the wick and dispense fragrance throughout the restroom. Airborne dirt will get caught in this airflow and will deposit in the reservoir. Therefore, it's recommended that once or twice a year, the reservoir should be cleaned with a paper towel or toilet paper. Provided that the dispenser and system is properly installed and serviced, it will provide 24-hour odor control, cleaning, scale prevention, and sanitary toilet bowls and urinals.